Welcome back to Lens Studio. In this video, we're gonna see how we can make our own cutout controller to fit our exact needs. As you play more with Lens Studio, you'll begin to notice that the templates, controllers, materials are more actually just a project that you can create yourself. This is great because it means you can open them up and see how they work and modify it to your needs. To start, let's look at the scene panel. Here you can see we don't have any visual representation of our objects. Since we're making a city, it would be great if we can see our content in a scene panel so we can modify the look and feel of our scene easily. With that said, let's create our own version of the cutout controller. First, let's delete what we imported earlier and only keep the texture folder. Then I'm going to create the new image object by clicking on add new and selecting the image object. Now you can see the image is already tracking. Let's set the texture to our image component by selecting the objects and set the texture. Now let's make the object bigger. You can see when we're changing the scale, it scales from the center of the objects that will be hard for us later to modify the object since we want all of our objects to stick to the ground. To fix this problem, select our image objects and then in the add new select empty child object. This will create an empty scene object and set it as a child of our image object. The transform of an object, which means its position, rotation and scale are relative to its parent object. So by placing our image inside another object, we can change its pivot point. Now what I'm gonna do is select the empty scene object and set the Y position to minus 0.5. This will place the objects on the bottom of our image. Then let's take the empty scene object outside of the image object. Then place the image object as a child of the empty scene object and set the position and rotation of the empty scene object to zero. Now you can see if we change the scale, it will be scaled from the bottom instead of middle of the object. Cool, let's rename the empty scene object to image anchor. Now, if you want to move our objects in the preview panel, it won't move. The reason is we don't have a word object controller anymore. To add one to our project, first click on add new button in the objects panel and search for helper scripts. Here you will see at this time we have three helper scripts. We will go through each of them during this course, but now let's select the word object controller. This will add the red panda which is an example to our project. Let's delete the red panda and then place the image anchor inside the word object controller as a child. Lastly, select the word object controller and set the device tracking inside the inspector panel. Now you can see you are able to move around the objects in the preview panel. Like the cutout controller, the word object controller is actually just a set of scripts and components that make it easier for you to develop your lens. You can play with it and see how does it work. In the next video, we're gonna add more capabilities to our cutout controller to generate shadows and more. See you all in the next video.